New car tech waiting in the desert. I'm Brian Cooley from CNET on cars. Technology announcements from Fiat, Chrysler, Toyota, Hyundai, Honda. Sounds like an auto show, right? It's actually the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, where you might expect to see mostly TVs and phones, but no more. When car makers show up in Vegas in a few days, they'll be talking a lot about autonomy and the new ways we will drive and get driven. And doing so at CES, because the future of getting around will tie into phones, apps, 4G and soon 5G connections, and the car's connection to the smart home, as those two become extensions of each other. This isn't the first year with a major automotive flavor at the world's largest tech show. But it is the first year that conversation will happen under the umbrella of newly released U.S. guidelines that are beginning to dictate the future of how self-driving cars and distracted driving issues will be dealt with. High-tech cars and modern driving at CNETOnCars.com. I'm Brian Cooley. You may be one of the 1 in 26 Americans who will develop epilepsy in their lifetime. To help the millions of people who experience their first seizure each year and the physicians who care for them, the American Academy of Neurology and the American Epilepsy Society have released a new guideline on how to treat a first seizure. It shows there is strong evidence that for adults who have had a first seizure, the risk of another seizure is greatest within the first two years. The risk ranges from about a 1 in 5 chance to nearly a 1 in 2 chance. But the guideline also found that taking epilepsy drugs immediately after a first seizure may reduce the risk of having another seizure. If you have had a first seizure, it is important that you talk with your neurologist and have a meaningful conversation so that your individual circumstances, balance of risks and